Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul Acevedo of Saturday Game School, where we stream a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight I am joined on mic by Tyler and Royal Bob. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, so me and my crew are going to stream 2064 read-only memories for Xbox One. It is also available on PlayStation 4 and Steam. Do you know if it's on Vita, Tyler? Um, I believe it is, yes. Nice. I can't promise, but I Seems think Seems like so, the yeah. kind of game that would be. This game is inspired by the classic Snatcher, since for some reason 2064 isn't in Twitch's database. Apparently, we pick Snatcher as the game that we're playing. Yeah, that doesn't make <laughs> sense. Okay. You know, and this is, is this a sequel to 2038? <laughs> you would think, right? Yeah, this is a few entries down the line. The Snatcher, a lot of you guys are probably too young to remember it, but it was a like a well-known Sega CD game. You know, Sega CD didn't have a lot of must-play titles, but back in the day, one of them was Snatcher, and it was made by Hideo Kojima, one of his early games, the Konami guy, you know, the ex-Konami guy. And it also came to 3DO in Japan, and I think like Saturn in Japan, maybe, or at least the sequel, Police Knots, came to a bunch of systems, but only in Japan. Like, Snatcher came to Sega CD in America, it's the only one of the two that ever got brought to America. But hey, now we get to play... Uh, yeah, it does have that Bob Jones. That's why it says 100 and not 50. So anyway, even though a lot of us never got to play Snatcher, or you could play it with emulation now, but instead we are just going to enjoy this game inspired by it. I think this is a Kickstarter success story as well, and it is published by Midboss which is a pretty fun name for a company, I think. Yeah, they had a cute little logo, too. So that jury study I did on Friday, guys? Rio, San Francisco, oh, wait, it has voice. I guess I don't want to talk over it. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Almost any part, Millions Tyler. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day. <laughs> play and connect it's only a couple parts that can't be repaired. The machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. Yeah, I think that's funny, Bob Jones, because how many However, people do you know who care about tabletop games? But uh, the people who do around. like them are happy to kickstart them, apparently. Yeah, they're pretty rabid fan base. It's small, but they love them. Yeah, and I saw on uh, Rec Room the PSVR game people are starting to play D&D on there. Oh, that's, that's a great use of it. I love this art style. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. It's very classic traditional pixel art style. It's the kind where they would actually be drawing it on a computer not, uh, and not with like a fancy... You know what I'm saying? They would draw it kind of pixel by pixel on a computer. That's how they used to have to do Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis games, etc. So it's nice and blocky, but it also creates a cool personality effect. Bob Jones. Why are you asking all the old questions that we already answered? The rising he was here too, wasn't he? A parallax engineer has mm -hmm. the mind ah, even further. That's why you're not on mic this week, Bob Jones. And with this, <laughs> just kidding. Humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Wouldn't it be cool if Sega made like a like a new Sega CD? You know, like it could have a way better disc drive, and it was just a tiny little thing, and you could buy CD games for it. Or I don't know. Or you could get a like a DVD with a bunch of the CD games on it. That would never happen, but it'd be neat. Because all these classic systems, it's always just cartridge ROMs. But you could do more. Button twice to skip. Okay, whatever. Let's get in here. Oh, you mean a classic system that actually takes the CDs? <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be wild? Or at least if it lets you play them interesting. somehow. Even if it didn't take the discs if it had like a big enough storage that could hold some of those games because all of those games are only like 200 megabytes and uh you know how sd cards nowadays you know you could get a just even an eight gigabyte sd card is probably like five dollars or something you know so like that could hold a bunch of cd games 
Yeah, that would be really cool. Somebody should kickstart that idea. Get Sega to work along with them or something. Uh, well, Bob Jones, usually you're just not on mic before the stream, so, like, I don't even think to look. But, yeah, it would be nice. I mean, maybe next week you could join us, dude. Items. Uh, so this is an adventure game, a point-and-click adventure game. So it definitely weird kind of game to stream. You guys know anything about <laughs> it besides the Snatcher Inspiration? I didn't even know Snatcher Inspiration or had heard of Snatcher. Yeah, I thought it was a sequel 2048, so I'm really <laughs> thrown off. Yeah, see, and I thought it was the 688th edition of Threes. <laughs> oh, God. That's good, Tyler. Thank yes. You. I mean, obviously, it's gotten a lot better because Threes is terrible. I don't understand why anyone ever liked it. Yeah. Although we did stream it and give out copies of it back in the day. You better try them out so you can start crafting your review. This is funny. That does sound like something I would do, too. Yeah, you got some clever descriptions. I'm going to pick up these headphones. They're added to my items. Um, yeah, you know, it's got more colors on the screen than the NES could actually do. So it is more like a... I mean, again, it's supposed to be like a Sega CD game with that kind of color palette. Hey, Brian. They're smart headphones, so you should be able to use them with some things lying around your apartment. Oh, so I can use the headphones on things. Yo, Brian. Yeah, it's too bad Brian didn't want to be on mic tonight, because oh, yeah. this is more his kind of game, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But they didn't have uh, smart headphones around that time, either. <laughs> this is very futuristic. Um, yeah. Wait, why can't they have smart headphones in the future? No, I'm saying, like, in the, when this game was oh, made. Oh, you're right. Or, like, the... Era that it's trying to, to replicate. Be based yeah. off. But it, it is trying to be futuristic, yeah. so I'm not going to fault him for that. Let's pick up that paper. No, <laughs> if I was living in the 30s, I wouldn't even know what a smart headphone is. You wouldn't even know what a regular yeah. headphone was. Exactly. Yeah, uh, how much longer till the baby's born, Brian? friend of the stream, regular co-host, and sometimes streamer Brian is having a baby. Oh, haven't been taking good care of my plant. Can yeah. I eat the... I remember my first, my first baby. <laughs> I remember like it was <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, it was in December. He was born. Um, he's growing up into a little man cat now. <laughs> oh god, Bob. But he's adorable. I like to think that, uh, that you guys actually gave birth to that cat. Use plant. Careful. The poor thing is more fragile than a snowflake. See, like, every little thing you can do has an interesting reaction, which is a really cool thing about this game. Coffee, the great equalizer. How come you like cats more than dogs? Because they don't um, smell bad like dogs do. Dogs are they awesome. They smell bad. Yeah, and they do their own thing. Unless you bathe them Dogs all. Dogs do smell bad. All of my cat is bad, but I... <laughs> oh. I take a sip of the old stale coffee. The letters F and K seem clear as day. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm taking a bad drink and I'm thinking of the F word in my head. It's also really gross. I think that's what that's supposed to mean. Yeah, I don't get that. Can I talk to it? This cup has really cooled off on talking. <laughs> it lost the hots for you a while ago. See? That's good writing. Why can't you appreciate stuff like that, Tyler? Um... I can appreciate good writing, just not in a video game where you just click <laughs> things for 10 <laughs> minutes <laughs> on a oh, screen. Best, especially to keep your window propped open. Oh, it's propped open, I see. Can I... Okay, adjust it. Yeah, it's gonna depend how logical the puzzles are, because some of these games are pretty weird. The window's broken, that's why we've got it propped open. Let's talk to the book. I give it a pep talk. Keep that window open. Hold your position. Don't lose focus. That's so great that you can just talk to everything and it says something silly. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the sink. Oh, you're, you're giving away a copy of 1264. 12064, right? That's the sequel after this one. <laughs> 12064. Oh man, your math is complicated. Just, huh? You're giving away one 2064. <laughs> oh, like I see. Yes, one copy of 12. Yeah. 12,064. 12, 
we're giving out 2,064 copies of one, on the other hand. How about that? Of yeah. one. See? <laughs> you could have done 668 copies of threes. Turn on, Sync. Let's turn it on. I'm sure threes would have brought the crowd. <laughs> Miss you, Brian. Oh, oh, because he's See on phone at the hospital. Yeah. So can I do anything good for the sink? Let's use the headphones on the sink, see what that does. Use the strawberry in the coffee to make strawberry coffee. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I plugged it in. I can hear the sink gurgling in high def. Because they're HD Ultra Beats. Stack of papers. Let's see what's up with them. Oh, Daylight Savings in Wales. Is that where Mr. Griffith is from? Yes. Yeah, his nickname is Welshie. Stack of papers from Welshie. Wales. Published off. Welshie. <laughs> exactly. Touch YMO poster. That's a load bearing. A load bearing yeah. poster. <laughs> this <is> so silly. <laughs> Let's talk to it. Thanks for the tunes. Lips slash music. Okay, I don't really get that joke. But can I use my headphones on them? Let's find out. Oh, rad. I touch it and the music begins playing in my ears and the music actually changed. Hey, Jordan and Dementia. Yo, good to see you guys. And hello, Mr. Griffith. I meant to say hi to you. <laughs> that should be enough testing for the headphones review. My countability remains intact right away. So that's good. Does that mean I lost the headphones? Nope, they're still there. Okay, and I've got my ID card. Look at ID. Let's have a look. Who am I? Name, picture, and stats. Can we not see it? Oh, we don't get to see it. That's kind of disappointing. Oh, what's this? Fridge. Gotta check the fridge. Good luck, everybody. Mustard, half full. Spoiled milk, 10 days past expired. Oh, nice. Drink it. Put it in your coffee. <laughs> if it'll let me. But that's cool, there's a screen on the fridge that tells you what's in it. That's actually not a bad idea. Alright, open fridge. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to open it. Let's see. Now we can see the things. The milk has an odor. Because then your grandparents don't have to yell at you for keeping the refrigerator open. <laughs> Take milk. Alright, we're taking it. Add it to items. I wonder what in the world you can do with it. Achievement! Yes, one more good day. That's a good name for an achievement, too. All right, let's use item on coffee, spoiled milk. Stale old coffee, yum. So I actually did add it to it. Okay, let's drink it. So many of your internal organs are thanking you for refusing to drink that again. Oh. And we've also got... No, don't click on that. I want to keep doing coffee things. Talk to coffee. Can I... Also, I don't get to take it. Uh-oh. Uh sorry, guys. Screen just went off. Why did it do that? I think my uh, HDMI splitter Cut. might be messing up. Uh... Alright, let's have a look at the laptop. Known as Lappy. It's not the most powerful or the fastest or the best screen, but it works. That's the name of the laptop in Strongbad. Yes, Bad. nice little reference there. It's nice for somebody to remember Homestar Runner and Strongbad, because you know at um, at Film Family where I like to chat, there's only a couple, only a couple uh -huh. people seem to have any familiarity with it, and that's huh. just sad. Let's boot it up. Yeah, Strongbad is quite Definitely. funny. Hey, Deadpool and Oblivion, they are also both Welshies, I believe. Scott's here. Welshies. <laughs> You have an article due tonight. Better finish it before bed. So I'm actually playing as a reviewer. That's neat. Hello, also ran. Apropos. Oops, I didn't mean to call ran, also ran. Yo, epic quiet and should rain. Did I say hi to BX Latino Heat? I meant to. Better finish it before bed. Okay, let's finish it. Let's see, we've got OK Today, Journal Logic, Lips Live, and Inbox. Okay. Oh, YouTube. Yeah, we'll do one at a time. I can look at it, or I can use it. Okay, let's just look at it. Neo SF's most beloved morning show, all about news and entertainment. People in Neo, Oklahoma, are still confused by the name. Oh, okay, today. <laughs> I think that would be even better if it was somehow a Utah joke. <laughs> 
does focus on serious current events at times as well. Okay, let's use it. The scan line. Oh, and then you got these different articles you can click on. Yeah, there's a whole lot of interactivity in this, like a whole lot of just a bunch of things to do compared to a lot of adventure games. Current events article. Read it. Human revolution remains vigilant in stay human protests in upper market. That's probably a joke of some kind. Mr. Griffith asked if you played Sea of Thieves. I have not, but based on the... Re well, I'm sorry, I did play at E3 two years ago. Back then there was no combat. But anyway, based on the online reactions, it does... It sounds like something I wouldn't mind messing around with with a friend, but uh, if I can't imagine buying it and not being disappointed with it. Yeah, I wonder if they knew it was not gonna had like gonna be great and really grab a lot of people, and it's really gonna have a really small fan base. So that's why they decided to use it as like the intro to the Game Pass that has thing. Been my exact thought to, as well, Tyler. To make sure people were on there. Yeah, it's like they want to capitalize on it somehow, and they know if you buy it, you're not going to be very happy with it, so they just throw it in with Game Pass. Right. I don't know. I mean, it, I think it'll have a, a small and dedicated following. If they keep adding to it, which you know they'll only do for a little while. Yeah, they, that's, yeah that, you know, they have to do that. But releasing a game that's really kind of an early access title as a full game, that's a very... That's a bad habit. Didn't they learn from Sony? Yeah, I was going to say, we saw what happened with uh, No Man's yeah, Sky. Yeah, the reviews, they're all savaging it. And you're not you're not going to get very many new reviews, even if you improve it a lot over right. time. Gina... Yeah, launch is, launch is such a critical time. Definitely. So it looks like this genus gene splicing company is, um, what do you call it? Controversial? Yeah. So that may be, have something to do with the overall story. Are all these words being read? No, not? no. Sorry, I'm back. It, it had voiceover okay. for the intro, but that was it. Okay. I thought Sea of Thieves looks pretty good. I haven't been able to play it yet, though, but I'm probably not Super going to get it. Super low on content, Bob, and people can just grief you, and there's nothing you can do about it. For now. Don't you have Game Pass? Yeah, you're always talking about it. Um, I actually think I might have it, I'm not sure. <laughs> you're not sure. Who's Charlie Nova? Click on Charlie. Hey, oh, here's some boys. Charlie Nova, host of Star in the Stratosphere, and tonight in the Star. I hope Saved K2 is good. I like the first one a lot. I was surprised that the sequel wasn't full price. Which game is that? State of Decay 2. Oh. Yeah, I'm surprised as well. So it's going to be have a uh, co-op. Uh, co-op. Yeah. yeah, which would have really made the first game a lot better. Uh, but yeah. I, you know, I like the first game, but I actually don't enjoy games that, with survival crafting mechanics, so I probably wouldn't even like part two that much unless I had a whole lot of time to play with a friend. They kept teasing co-op for part <laughs> one for a few months after yeah, release. The, yeah, and then they never did they it. They must have made the decision. No, let's save that for part two. If it runs really well, that would be then, nice. And it took them like six years to get another game out. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? The Mexico City Luchadores. Hey, Alex Skywalker. Hey, Alejandro, good to see you. He's moving furniture. So, in this future sport, in this future world, sports teams like people are not allowed to have too many enhancements or something, and it looks like. That's the kind of thing they have to test people for, not just drugs like now. You hear that thing about there's a Houston athlete who like pushed a security guard and was a, like a real jerk hold to him. And so like the Houston police are after him for some reason. I forget what it was. No, I didn't hear that. Um, there was an article about it. I'll have to try to show you later. Sports article, local news. Let's see what that's. Vandalism on the rise at the Golden Gate Park. 
JJ's Froyo stand was destroyed last night. What appears to be another case of Rogue Rom committing an act of vandalism. What does that mean? Hey, hey Link. <laughs> Heart was definitely attacked and damaged by a large Rom that had no shell. What does that even mean? Randomly appearing at night. I don't know what a yeah, Rom is. Only memory. I mean, it would normally be like a Rom, you know, like a game Rom. Yeah, it yeah. It means something else here. First case of one being reported to live on its own in the world as a in the wild as a stray. Weird. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. So apparently it's a robot running around or something. Okay, this is not the most stream-friendly game in the world, everybody, but that's why I have co-hosts and we all just like to hang out with each other. Yeah. Paul doesn't have Sea of Thieves, Bob. Yeah, no, I definitely will not be getting Sea of Thieves. I don't even really want it. I don't want to get Game Pass, considering that I have like 80% of the games that are on it. A million yeah. games, yeah. But if they, you know, if there was another game like Crackdown 3 and that was, and you could get it that way, then I guess I would. So how do I back, back button? So go back, what is it? Oh, you, you have to click. Just do it, don't make it go through that. Let's click on the YouTube one. Let's see what that does. The Ultra Beats sync to Lappy automatically as I connect to one of the less pornographic feeds. Oh, Best options are usually limited to video game streams, old concert recordings, and live cams of baby animals. My choice is clear. Okay. First part of work is done. I'm so accomplished. Okay, what about mail? Do I have to check my mail? Let's do that. Yeah, Crackdown 3 is coming out this year unless it gets delayed again. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get it unless I have a pro. Hey, Ben Buttons 87. This is an adventure game called 2064 Read Only Memories. If I can read my spam, let's have a look. Get cheap crash. It's hard to think that. What's that? I was saying it's hard to think that Crackdown 3 is going to be great with how long it's yes. taking. Even though, you know, like what I saw of it at E3 last year, like visually I thought it looked pretty much like what you would want Crackdown 3 to look like. But yeah, there must be some kind of issues they're having. I am yeah. Princess Emma Thomas. Yes, the Princess Emma, heiress to the digital empire of the Horse Fortune. What? I'm surprised we're even making a third one after the second one. That's so He's poor. The spam letter. Oh, because I'm in the spam folder. I thought Crackdown 2 was quite fun. Like, they should not have rushed it out and and done, like, a cheap cash grab sequel. But on the other hand, they actually did really improve the collectible stuff and the, you know, like, hunting all the different side activities in the world. You know, like, the gameplay was good. It was just ugly and didn't have a good story. And also the competitive multiplayer, who the heck cared? The zombies were kind of yes. weird. So anyway, you can read spam letters and they're kind of funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys know when I was younger I actually got scammed by a, by a... I don't know if they're a Nigerian or what, but like some kind of foreign person got me to cash a money order for them. I didn't realize that money orders can bounce and not be good, and so then that messed up my bank account. Isn't that silly? I was a naive young lad. Yeah, these are the early days of the internet. Invitation, what's this? To see the lighting ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown from... What the heck? Why would my dentist invite me to a lighting ceremony? It feels like a trap. <laughs> this is your weekly update from Vintage Tech, your number one source for classic technology. Popular pieces, the King of Click, a retrospective on the classic Model N keyboard. Weird. Unsubscribe, yes. I can click on that. Let's do that. I Icky runs Malaysian scams <laughs> over the internet. There you go, Icky. Request denied. Subscription cannot be modified. Oh, that's weak. Okay, can I... I need to click the mail again and this time not be reading spam. I got a bill, work mail, weekly update, invitation. Oh, no. I see. It was. 
Let's see what the bill's for. It's past due. From the power plant? Uh-oh, that's not good. An age-old choice between food or electricity. Know that all too well. Work mail. <laughs> Fine, Nicky, I'll pay God. <laughs> Icky knows all the news. For a new upcoming audio review feed looking for hot talent who need a platform for their work. We'd love to feature any product reviews you'd like to do for us. Be able to give you some great exposure, and if we like your stuff, could possibly throw some creds my way. Uh oh. I don't think no people die of exposure. Ha, <laughs> that's cute. I don't want that kind of exposure, do I? Promotional mail, so I guess there's. That's all there was to do there. All right, we're gonna read this last website and then we'll get out of this thing and see if we can go outside or something. Journalogic. Time to get work out of the way. All right, I'm gonna write my review. Let's do this. Selling your soul bit by bit. That is the journalism experience. Character by character. Finished. Now to send it off to the editor. Well, that was easy. There. Your big break. Surely your glowing review of the GX Ultra Beats is my ticket out of poverty and into a book deal. Time for bed. I'm shocked that Halo still generates so much hype. Uh, you know, I feel like less and less people care about it as time goes on. I was substituting on Thursday and I told the kids that I had visited Bungie and like, a lot of them didn't even seem to understand the significance of that. <laughs> Let's talk to the bed. This bed only chats back when I'm sleep talking. Not the most well designed function. That's alright. I can use things on the bed. Let's use the headphones on it. They detect that I'm laying down and begin to play soothing ocean sound effects. Neat. And it actually did play sound effects. Fancy. Alejandro wants to do a podcast called Weirdo Central. <laughs> Weirdo Central. I like the way that sounds. Yeah. Yeah, when, uh, when we were talking about renaming our the old Windows Central Guild in Neverwinter, which, you know, Icky is still helping to operate, mm -hmm. I wanted to just call it Winners Central, because it's similar to Windows Central. But they ended up yeah. going with a totally different name. For some reason, nobody liked that idea. Ah, somebody's coming into my room. <laughs> it's a robot. Maybe it's one of those rogue roms. What's it doing? Ah, it's all creepy. Yeah, I was going to say, it's pretty wrong. Ooh, it has voice acting. And a little cute little face. I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather Yeah, I don't trust this little guy. <laughs> Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? Yeah. Oh, they're called Broken Windows now. Yeah, Broken Windows is also a good title. A good name. Am I opposed to... Yeah, I like what? that. How did you get into my apartment? Yeah, that, that's... I can also say, what the hecky? Let's say, what the hecky? What the hecky, Icky? Oh, I hope you don't mind. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using Bicep. Hey, Jono, glad you're here. Where's your cousin Brailmeister? Oh, he even cleaned the room. Oh god, the screen. Good robot. Sorry guys. Why does it keep doing... I think that's... Is that only happening on my end and not for you guys? It may just be the cable going to my monitor. I saw it flash oh, a few okay. times earlier. Yeah, I saw a flash oh, Sorry once. about that. That only just started yeah. happening oh. tonight. Is that part of the game? No, it is. It's got to be one of the components of my setup malfunctioning. I didn't see a flash this time though. I saw it the first time. Yeah. Let's see. A snag. So much I am text. I'm close to getting my first platinum. Trophy. Nice. <laughs> nice little game. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, the task the versus love. Yeah, crap. Bob's been talking about that so much oh. in Discord that I went ahead and played some last night. Oh, you got it on PlayStation and not on Xbox? Yeah, the reason for that is I had a PlayStation yes. code, so I threw it his way. Oh. Yep, I, well, this is probably 10 tons, best game in a while. Yeah, it's a... 
It is good, you know, like you said, it is quite similar to Crimson Land, but with more interesting levels. I still think, I don't know, Crimson Land's structure just really rubs me the right way. Like this one, the structure is more confusing. Yeah, it was definitely weird at, at first, like how the level system and whatnot works, but everything works together. You just keep moving to get all your mech pieces. And then yeah, and it's cool that you're fighting Lovecraftian kills. monsters. I bought this yeah. comic a little while ago called The Neonomicon, written by Alan Moore. It's Alan Moore's... He's written like three comics. They're all connected, set in a Lovecraftian modern world. You know, it's like a modern world where those things are real. And uh, there's a lot of sex and rape and stuff in them, which is crazy, you know. But like for that reason, people who are like real PC don't like it. You know, like I'm pretty, I'm pretty woke, so to speak. But I also, uh, I also like sex stuff, so I can take it. All my work was on there. <laughs> anyway, it's a, again, it's called the Neo Nomicon. It's like ten bucks on Comixology, and I, I thought it was quite good. The, the reason I heard about it is because that movie Shape of Water came out, you know, and it's about like a, a lady and a fish dude getting it on. And somebody posted. Yeah, that movie's awful. <laughs> Aw, it won an Academy Award, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Which is pretty damning for the academy well, i Awards. haven't seen it but it sounds like something i would like anyway uh, somebody posted a page of the comic you know in like a thread about it on kotaku or wherever and like i thought it was intriguing so i bought it that's how i heard about it i do like old alan moore stuff i don't really like his newer stuff he's gotten just kind of crazier as time went on you see tyler he's the guy who wrote v for vendetta and watchmen ah. And uh, if you ever see him, he looks like a crazed hobo. Like, yeah, it's really weird. He lives in the he lives in England. He lives on his own. He's real paranoid. He doesn't like TV or movies, and he looks like a crazed hobo. Like, or or Rob Zombie. But either way, it's not a way that a person should choose to look like on purpose. Especially not somebody who's kind of well off like he is. So somebody who's watching, tell me what's going on here. <laughs> it's, yeah, the game? I was telling stories instead of paying attention. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I was, do you ever leave yeah, the room? Eventually we're going to leave the room. <laughs> Don't feel too this is also kind of like that game, um, god, what is that, 8-bit anthology? Did we stream that? We did, didn't we? I can't remember if we did or not. I reviewed it. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it was the game that I reviewed, but I guess we didn't stream. I'm not certain why you picked the birthday of your first dog, but it would be sufficiently obscure to defeat most casual attempts to enter. Yeah, Tesla versus Lovecraft gets a lot better as you unlock more. Perks. Yeah, also I'm looking at getting codes for that to give away because we, you know, they've been, ten tons has been easy to work with in the past, so we might throw that into our schedule too. Yeah, they're pretty. Um, active in their community. They like noticed on Reddit they'll do AMAs every time a new version of their game comes out. Which is just marketing, but it's still nice yeah, to like, talk they to won't people. spend money on like production values, but they do have a good PR person. A really good PR guy. Yeah. I mean I would have I think well Crimson Land might be like the worst <laughs> visually, even though it's fun. Like, they've been improving a lot. Yeah, Crimson Land, but they're, uh, Crimson the Land is game. ugly, yes. But fun. Hey, it's a wild pig. A yeah. wild pig is one of the students I substituted for on Thursday. Isn't that fun? No <laughs> conflict of interest here, no yeah. sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, a wild pig, you, the games we stream usually have a lot more action than this. We just, you know, we... <laughs> So don't don't judge Paul. Yeah, I mean we did Attack on Titan 2 last week. That was a big sixty dollar game and we gave out three copies of it. And now he's playing a novel. Yes, indeed I am. And actually I really am liking this game and I think I will continue to play it on my own. But obviously it's not the most ideal kind of game to stream, especially when we have co hosts and stuff and we all talk to each other the whole time. Yeah. Brian needs to play it with his voices. <laughs> that would be great. Ooh. 305 star reviews on Congo. They don't mean the movie Congo, do they? So why are you here exactly? Here, finally we're going to find out what this little guy's doing. Uh, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, subbing on for art, that art class was really fun. Like, uh, they, they had to draw a hand, and I had to make them watch a video about, about that that gave them, like, techniques and tips and stuff. And I would walk around the room basically making sure everybody was doing their drawing, because you know they all want to, or uh, half of them want to goof off when they have a sub, I'd say. Yeah, and then the other half want to play Fortnite. <laughs> yes, and in fact there were several kids who ended up playing Fortnite or talking about playing it while I was subbing. Oh, who's got to go? How do you play Fortnite in class? On oh, phone? Uh, Mr. Griffin's got to go. See ya, Mr. Griffin. There was a Kotaku article about how schools are having a problem with that. You know Hayden Weber? Yeah, that's yeah, all I do not play it on my phone because it's only on iPhone, and I would never willingly own an iPhone. If someone gave me <laughs> one, I would sell it and yeah, buy an Android. Well, is it actually good it. on uh, mobile? Supposedly it is. Seems would be hard. Yeah, I mean, it's cross-platform, so I think you can, like, log into your existing account and play. Hmm. Help me. You are quite my only hope. But you're certainly the most oh, that's a little supported. clever spin on. Help me, you're my only hope. Yeah, anyway, like, I would give them... You know, I studied art in college, and my as a kid, I, I drew a lot. So, yeah, it was fun giving them tips on how to improve their hands. Because, you know, like, you look at somebody's hand, and, like, the pinky finger's crazy long, or the thumb is all weird, you know, and I could tell them how to fix it up a little. <laughs> That's nice. He's offering to play Fortnite with me. I appreciate that. Slow down. Just start from the beginning. The beginning. Okay. Yeah, no, drawing a hand isn't that hard, but, like, again, these are kids who are, they're new to art. You know, like, a lot of them are not, like, experienced artists. Although we did have some kids in there who were already great artists. Oh, play like, is it, like, a kindergarten no, class or what? No, seventh and eighth grade. He seemed frightened, terrified even. But, major turkey okay. hands? No, they drew. No, they yeah, were trying hand. to draw a realistic <laughs> looking hand with good shading and stuff, you know. And uh... oh, I thought they were drawing turkey <laughs> no. hands. For some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them He's like, I was way past that in seventh grade. I was on to chasing my own feet. Hey, made it funny. Good to see you. Oh, nice. So that's what yours looked like, a wild pig. Yeah, I believe I remember that, because not a whole lot of people did their hands in different positions like that. So that's really cool to, you know, like a couple of my students have followed me so far, but this is the first time I've had a chance to actually interact with one during a stream. Yeah, that's cool. I kind of want to make like a little card or something that I can give out that has my Twitch URL that the because I could easily pick up some new followers that way while subbing, but on the other hand, I probably would eventually get in trouble for it. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a Alas. great idea. But hey, sometimes I'm going to. Didn't you say? What did you say your gamer tag was again? But Paul, down. Paul, what's that? What if you? What if you accidentally <laughs> drop some cards on every student's like, whoops. list? Whoops! <laughs> I just write it on the board and then I erase it at the end of the day. I can do that, right? I mean, who's going to tell me for that? Yeah, and just, just, just don't bring it up. Just kind of have it up there and see. <laughs> just kind of hint at it, like doing stuff. The kids on it. their own, they ask me questions. Like that's how this came up at all. They're like, uh, "You play games? Are you a streamer?" And I'll say, "Like, yeah, I stream every Saturday, Esex Twitch, you know." And then that's how I picked this one up. Don't worry. If Hayden trusts uh, you, I trust you. You're yeah, Darker Player. Oh, what's your the movie um... was made in 1991, actually. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I miss talking about that, guys. The original TMNT movie, I believe it came out on March 23rd, 1991. So we just passed, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles anniversary day. Strong-willed and capable. And part two came out on March 21st or 22nd, 1992, just exactly one year later. Not as good a movie, but still charming in its own way, especially because of Vanilla Ice and Ninja Rap. So who's this Hayden guy? Why would they want Hayden? Let's ask that. He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no What do you mean, what is my nickname? Would be enough to get him kidnapped. Oh. Like, what do the cool kids call <laughs> you? Wild Pig 1618. Okay, he wants me to follow him. A wild pig, if you can stay till the end of the stream, I'll add you at the very end of the stream. Okay, I don't want to stop playing the game. It's bad enough. I'm talking over it so I badly. It has to do with me. Uh oh. So who are you? What do you have to do with it? Ah, excuse me. I made a funny. That's Splinter. Introduce myself. 
I've never had the go, pleasure ninja, of go, ninja, go, ninja, <laughs> go! Turing. Oh, let's give this guy a test. Oh yeah, guys. I don't know if I've talked about it, but my greatest pleasure as a substitute is you have to call out the role. You know, so you'll have a list with twenty or thirty names, and you call them all out, and they say here or present or whatever, right? Well, like. As much as possible, I try to make fun of their names while I'm doing that. So, uh, so that's what I call him too. So that's oh, a good you're dead to me. You made a funny, dead to me. And uh, okay, Wild Pig spelled it wrong, but at least he wasn't trying to mess it up like as bad as made a funny did. But he got the spelling. He got how you pronounce it though. Av I kind of. It's not ah. It's like ava or ava avocado. It's ava. Uh, so this guy is the first of his kind who is self-aware, apparently, and yeah, they're trying to kidnap him. Either to stop his research, he came to me for help because I'm an online journalist. Uh, drop some pencils with the Twitch name. That would be a funny way to do it. Just have. Eastex twitch on my pencils and give him out. How am I different from another ROM? Or how is he different? Yeah, let's find out. A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. Virtual intelligence? Oh man, my nose smart. is itching badly. Human seeming when you talk to them. But they're just cleverly programmed Do you think they have, to a variety of situations you know, like a love manner. robots in this world? They have to, right? We're not going to talk about that because we got to. Well, you're going you're going to go to prison <laughs> with the next fight. I hate it. Oh, interesting. Drink from an East X mug. I also should do that. I like the actual story that's going on here. You know, this inventor created the first sapient robot and the robot is on the run and I'm gonna have to help him out and I'm also glad that they gave him voice acting once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out well you know darker player you got to pick up viewers wherever you can dude but yeah it would be nice to have a whole lot more viewers if we had a good way but that's a whole reason you know like I did two midweek streams this week I streamed Fortnite twice because you know I play a whole lot of Fortnite and, um, you know, a few guys, some of you guys, a few of you showed up on Wednesday, and that was really nice. Is that the day I did? No, it wasn't Wednesday. Monday, yeah. Anyway, second stream, I did it in the daytime, and, uh, boy, it was like, it was a ghost town. Not too many people showed up. But, uh, as long as I do that enough times, I will finally qualify to be a Twitch affiliate, and then you guys can donate bits to me, because I know you want to give me a few bits. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, if you donate, like, late at night on weekdays, I can show up. Yeah, I mean, the the one was an evening stream. I think I did it at, uh, I don't know, like, 7 to 9 or something like that. And I put the replay of that on YouTube, so if you missed it, it's on YouTube. It is actually a pretty good Fortnite stream, I think. Like, a good way to learn about what the co-op part of Fortnite is like. Yeah, I've been working like, until 8 a lot this really? past you couple weeks. paid hourly? Uh, kind of, but we don't get paid overtime. Uh, no, I don't have that wild pig. What is the black scar? Is it a weapon? I guess we should get started. Let's do this. Indeed, time is of the essence. I took the liberty of charging the auto. It's raffle time. Um, who's doing the contest? The yeah. Just, just a sec. Alright. Good luck with the contest, everybody. Yeah, why not go to the police? No, we can't. Oh dang. Either he hit me or he shook or something. Poor Hayden. Did anyone read the text well enough to learn if Hayden got killed? It sounds like he got killed, but I missed that part. Thank you, Bob Jones. No. No, I didn't. I didn't read it. Yeah, uh, this whole coming week I'm working graveyards every day and I'm also going to probably do two or three days of subbing again. So that's 16 hour days in other words. Very rough on me, but I want the money so I can buy some new couches for my living room. Because you know me and Lisa, we're just fixing the place up. 
We're not going to stop with that super nice, awesome S and M bed. Corruption is fighting a challenge. Public trust as well as cohesion in department policies. Yeah, I don't need to read this out loud. He's speaking it. Uh, Dark Pig, I think you mean Chappy. Remember, we're giving out Xbox codes for this game. Don't enter unless you want to win it on Xbox. We must keep this to ourselves for now. I'm sure Lyle got the message I sent to him. He's a good lad. Oh, nice. Okay, Bobblehead, I'll help. But there better be a story here. My head does not bobble, thank you very much. <laughs> He's indignant. In addition, I would not expect you to help me without fair compensation. Wouldn't that be cool to give out Saturn codes? By the way, guys, I sold my American PlayStation 2 collection today. I'm sorry, this week for $140. That was, yeah. Nice. You didn't have any very rare ones. Uh, the most valuable game in the collection was a complete copy of Mr. Mosquito, I think. Like, apparently that game is, mm -hmm. uh, it goes for about 60 on eBay. So, can you believe that, Mr. Mosquito? It's funny how these little, like, you just buy a little $10 game and it ends up gaining value over time, you know, if you buy enough games like that. Uh, but anyway, yeah. mostly they were, like, yeah. worth about $10. If you, let's see, East the Ark of Napishtim, that's worth 20 or 30 you know, and uh, a few games like that. Yay, way to go, Wild Pig! Congratulations! Aren't you glad you tuned in? So, it's the next day, 1221. By the way, 1220 is my mom's strange. birthday. That's strange. So, we were playing on my mom's birthday in the story. New location, how about that? Well, the door for our home seems to have already been That's good. repaired. I'm certain my audio sensor This is really interesting to me. Uh, it looks like achievement-wise, you would have to use a guide cuz if you don't do the right things, you're not going to get some of the achievements. Yeah, it seems like there'd be a lot of missiles. Yeah, th that, that is crummy, because if you like achievements, having to use a guide to play is not cool. It's annoying. Perhaps the maintenance robot took care of it. And I, uh, the one thing I read during the AMA for Tesla lovers Lovecraft is they are now they're self-aware of achievements, so they're trying to make them so they're not as grindy and they're more oh, fun. Oh, Because, yeah, you know, they actually did read my reviews, you know, and, like, uh, I gave Crimson Land a lot of crap for its uh, terrible a couple of the achievements are terrible in that game yeah weren't a couple of them really grindy and well, bad one in of that them, one? you had to yeah. do super well at the threes clone in it you know it has a bonus threes game oh yeah it's so stupid like i think i got that one. i did yeah. bob did you get it i can't remember if you were able to or not I don't think so and then that kind of like made me uninterested in the rest of the yeah, game yeah exactly i mean they think it's a neat little thing, but it's like, no, nobody it thinks threes is fun. Don't attach an achievement to does. playing a bunch of the worst part of your game. We shouldn't disturb any evidence. Just we should go to the police. Yeah, this this one's a lot better. Like, you'll get all the achievements just by playing through all three Sweet. difficulties. Nice. Yeah, I hope we get to stream that one. Remind me, oh, like tomorrow, and I'll uh, I'll email him. Doesn't look like there was much of a struggle. Are you sure he was actually kidnapped during? Okay, he was only kidnapped. Good. This also reminds me just a tiny little bit of the movie Ex Machina. Did you ever get to see that, T-Dog? No, I didn't. I hear it's good. Yes, it's very good, and you should definitely watch it. And it has a bunch of nudity, which is always a fun thing. Don't. Because it's so hard to find on the internet yeah, nowadays. Tell our young, uh, young viewer I said that, though. Um, but yeah, it's the yeah. You're definitely from prison in the next five years. <laughs> Forget you. The developer, I'm sorry, the director of Ex Machina. He, what is his name? I forget. But he just recently made some other movie. Um, anyway, yeah, super good movie. I I have issues with the ending. Like it's not that it's a terrible ending, but I kind of don't like some things about it. But. uh I should have stayed but, yeah, you gotta watch to it. And it has, you know, it has a robot lady, and she basically appears. 
they got her AI so good that she basically is self-aware like this, you know, she's sentient, and, uh, you know, they're, like, testing her, you know, trying to find ways to prove that she's not really alive, but she really seems to be. But, you know, maybe they made her too good, you know what I'm saying? Too good. You're very welcome, Wild Pig. We're really glad you could make it. And you know I stream every single Saturday, 8 p.m. to 9.30. Or if I take off, then I have somebody else stream. And we still always give out something. Not always for Xbox, you know, sometimes it's PC and PlayStation. But... It must be able to self-modify. Self-modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. Interesting. I could rip your arm off right now if ah, I Ah, why does he say that? Like Ultron. Comforting. Why don't you? It would be fun to see you try. Okay, let's ask him that. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> All right. At least you're in a different room with a computer now. <laughs> yeah, and we were in the hallway. This is this is where Ooh, this is fancy. where he got, uh, his creator was. It's his creator's office. Contract as a useful contract. We can dream for that pop. If I ever get a switch, then why would yes. anyone? Why would anyone want a <laughs> switch game anyway? Yeah, it's not like you. It gets tied to your account or anything. Except it does this time, I think. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that does now. It does. Supposedly. What games is he gonna give away? <laughs> There's only like what five games on the switch. Yeah. There's a lot of indie games though. Like, I, I wouldn't mind Kate's no, yeah, actually. But there are not. quite a lot of indie games, and that's exactly what we would do if I ever get a Switch. So, there's no free games. Who like knows? The Maybe after the PlayStation 4 Pro is replaced, we would make getting a Switch the next goal so we could do Switch games. I bet we actually do have people in the audience who would enjoy that. I'll start boycotting. <laughs> Dang it, Tyler. You did the right thing by escaping. Yeah, there's not that many like Switch exclusives. There. I mean, there's a few that are really, really, really good. There are but... some indie games that are only on Switch yeah. and PC. You know, like they chose Switch to be the first console to bring them to. So that's. Which yeah. I like. I can play in bed. Like I like playing in bed. Golf Story is an exclusive. I think Nintendo oh, bought the exclusive no, rights for that. Just... Well, I have twenty dollars of each shot money. I don't yeah, know I what would to get. I would cause... get a Golf Story. Um, but you should get, uh, when they bring that Hyrule Warriors, you should get that. I know you like, uh, Warriors games. Ooh, yeah, I, I like that on, uh, Wii U. It oh. was really good. I think there's Fire Emblem Ooh. Warriors. I think that's yeah. already out. So. Memory card? I think so. I don't know. I don't think so. Is it? I don't think it is, but maybe. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it is. Oh. oh See if I, I can use so. my headphones. Oh, I don't have the headphones anymore. Let's use the spoiled milk on the broken tech. Although the milk surely has magnetic energy within it, it's unlikely it would charge the battery. Dang. Yeah, Icky, where did you hear the Bomberman R was coming out to Xbox One? Because I haven't seen any articles about that. I. It definitely nice. is. That's... It's been on. Like, I mean, they announced that there's extra characters. Like, you can play as the little Halo guy oh, on Xbox. Tight. I think that's such good news. You know, man, I'm gonna be all over that game. I love Bomberman so much. I, I've bragged about this a few times over the years, but I was the top American player of Saturn Bomberman, like, out of everybody. It's the only time I was ever the best at anything. Out of all were, ten of them? There were, I mean, there were more than, there were a few hundred, probably. But, uh, yeah, back in the day, we had to dial each other long distance to play with each other. It was a different time. Yeah. It's it's a uh, forty dollars, which is kind of annoying. But I know yeah. you won't care. The hell, dude! It's a little pricey for less hardcore yeah, Bomberman fans. For it. I don't care. <laughs> 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 You're not actually one of those games on right now. Wait, I want to get you? Cave Story before. I think it's thirty bucks, and I got it for a dollar on PC. I really don't want to pay. Yeah. Well, oh, is it is the digital version thirty bucks too? Use plant. Yeah, I believe that storage. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Welcome to Nicalis's world, yeah. Nicholas yeah. Nicalis. I don't know how you say that, but they're they're just such a dick publisher. Let's pour the milk on the plant. Water. Plants need water. Oh. But in um, Tesla vs. Lovecraft, I just got an epic perk for unlimited teleport. Oh, neat! It's kind of OP. That's very rare to get get them. Yeah, that that perk system is fun. Yeah. 
Yeah, the game sounds pretty good. But you can get. I was, like I was surprised that it was yeah, Arena. Why didn't you get a copy of it yet, Tyler? Uh, my my video chum buddy reviewed it. Aww. See, that's why you should still stream just a little bit, and then you can do what I do and just ask for games to stream. You know, and you only have to stream it once, and you've met your obligation. Eh, I could. I doubt most most publishers even check to see if you actually stream. Yeah, it, exactly. They barely ever even check back. I mean, I've got a backlog of games I need to be streaming. It's probably like 20 big. But I am doing, now that I'm getting back into the midweek streaming more, and especially once I get my new job, then I'm going to be able to do catch up and do a lot more. What does Paul think of the new Mega Man game? Uh, is it out? It's not out. No, I think he's just asking what you thought about, like, the previews or oh, something. I haven't read anything new on it. I thought it looked a little ugly, it seems like, when they first announced it, but I still will be all over it. Won't you too? I think it looks cool. It's different, but I, I, the art style's growing on me already. Yeah, um, guys, if you're, yeah, if you think Bomberman sounds cool, plan to get it at launch. I will get it at launch, and I definitely will play and stream that more than once. It's gonna have multiplayer like online. Yeah, yeah even the yeah, you know, I'm sure it does. does. And I mean, that thing barely can connect I'm probably not. at all. Well, they already have a Bomberman clone on Switch. And on Xbox One, you mean? <laughs> you have on oh, Switch. Oh, I mean. you do. Okay, yeah. On Xbox One, we have Bombing Busters, which is a Bomberman clone, and it it is pretty decent. It's not as good as Bomberman, but there's also two others coming out this year. Even um, do you remember the names? One's like Bombing Desperados or something, and the other one I can't remember. They both have Bomb in the name. I think the one on Switch is like Death Party or something. I don't know, it looks, it looks cool, or like Monster Ball. Or Wild else. Pig I totally would love to. Like, uh, Fortnite, Fortnite is handled by a big PR company called Evolve. And uh, anyway, they do give us games just to stream, but we haven't done a contest with them in a long time. I would have to talk to them. Because, yeah, to do a Fortnite Save the World giveaway, that would be really exciting. Who knows, Koei Tecmo still gives us big codes. Well, oh, Matt, I could see I could see them doing that, because it should be going free it's, like yeah. this year. Okay, somebody remind me and Some I'll email somebody. Because, yeah, I know, I mean, I know the students, the kids, they all love Fortnite. It's crazy how popular it is, you know, so it gives me another thing to talk to them yeah. about. Which... I got, like, a little set, like, talk about how much they love Fortnite. <laughs> the problem is... It's the new Minecraft, Well, huh? yeah, but the problem is they all yeah. play the free competitive mode. Like, I don't know if... I've only met a couple who actually have the $40 game, you know? That's why it's so popular, because it's free. Yeah, I think the mobile version has the free version. I don't think the mobile one has the, the co-op mode, it just has Battle Royale. So far, right? I don't know, some kid told me that it does have co-op, but that they could be wrong, because it's not like they own it. They might need, like, squad co-op. Yeah, that's true, because you can team up with other people against others. Silly as it sounds. Yeah. yeah, man, this is exactly a Brian's alley. It's a shame he's not here. Hopefully he'll rewatch the video or something. It's probably played it already. It's probably playing it at the hospital. <laughs> yeah, I remember when my son Ethan was born. You know, Ethan's 22 now. Isn't that crazy? And he, he just helped us with the stream last week. But when he was born, we were there overnight and. Um, Sailor Moon was on. Sailor Moon was like basically one of only two or three animes on TV at all. It was very rare. Anime was just about to become big and Sailor Moon actually was pretty popular even though it came on at like 5.30 in the morning. So yeah, a big episode of that was on. Like a season finale was on while she was giving birth. It's a little... We were watching it in, in the room. Okay, um, boy, I did not pay attention to any of that. Shame on me. I haven't had to witness any live birds yet, but I almost did. Witness what? And it'll probably happen. I haven't had to witness any live birds yet, but I'm sure it's going to happen. You think I'll die? No, I'm not going to die. Death count zero. In your face, and, darker player. So can you lose the I don't game? think so. Or is it like... I don't even see a way to manually save. Let's see, pushing start, maybe that's how. There we go, saves. Yeah, I better make a save. Yeah, okay, some of these games have really, like, 
the weird ways that you just lose. You can type it all in. So ah, e e e. No. Um, delete. 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 Oh, I know what I'm gonna name it. Look at it. It's doing it like turbo or something. <laughs> Every. It, that's annoying. I was gonna type Tyler, but I'm just gonna do TT instead. <laughs> All right, and uh, continue. Yeah, you're right. Lightspeed Halo is kind of like that. I am playing Fortnite a little bit less now because at the point I am in the game, it gets really hard, and you need other people to play along, and it's harder and harder to get a full game going. Like because. Less people are far in the game, and also they seem to not play the same hours I do as much. Yeah, you're pretty high level now. Yeah, and... I'm almost done with the second map. I do have a friend who's on the third map. He came and helped me out a little, you know. And it's nice that you come and help me out a little sometimes, but you don't stay up late enough usually okay. to, to help out. I don't think I'm a high enough level. Well, I mean, just having anyone with you at all, like just to revive you and stuff, is useful. Fire escape. But you're right, yeah. I mean, like, you know, I understand you, you grew out of it a little, but, uh, yeah, you should play more and do more. Like, there's new types of, of missions, I mean, new types of levels and stuff that you only get access to when you get farther into the game. Uh... Yeah, I'm only just started the second map. Yeah. What do you guys, I don't, what do you guys do on the maps? Like, I thought it was just, like, a PvP type of thing. Because no, remember, I mean, it has a whole co-op campaign, you know? Yeah. Oh, it does? It's like a horde mode where you can build up stuff. Yeah, I tuned and... in for a few minutes when I streamed the other night, Tyler. God. Um, but no, you go into yeah. a map, you scavenge for resources, because you always, always need wood and metal and stuff to make bullets and weapons and stuff. Uh, but then there's all these little optional objectives and, and like a primary objective. Like there's something you have to do to win the map, and if you don't win the map, you don't... You do get to collect, keep the resources, but you don't get to uh, retain any other kind of progress, like experience and stuff. Um, dang, I wish I knew what to do. So anyway, like an example of a side objective is you'll come across a broken down tower, and if you repair the tower, then you build up to it, and uh, you have to build a platform at the very top and activate a computer, and that will summon a survivor to you, and you can then rescue that survivor. And one of your long-term goals is to rescue a lot of survivors. Just a small example. Um, oh. So yes, that's us talking about Fortnite. And there's different events, and there's like little random events all around the map. You, don't you can't get rid of your ID. Oh. Can I use... I can't use... The, well, we're trying it. Why not send it plummeting to the unsuspecting public below? You can't. Oh. It's stuck to the inside of your pocket. Oh. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool, Wild Pig. How old is your uncle? Is he my age? Um, man, I don't know what else to do at this point. I have no idea how to log in. Can we use a memory card on it? Doesn't fit. No compatible slots, huh? Okay, uh, what else? Oh, a stack of books. Let's have a look at that. Oh, Yay! That was what I, I needed to do. Under those reference books. Uh, darker player, I mean, school's already... You're technically not allowed to play games on your phone at most schools, you know tablet. Let's use the memory stick on it. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Excellent. Hayden must have Achievement! Memory card in order to prevent his I put the thing in the doohickey. Cool teachers let their students play on their phone. <laughs> and hear uh, Wild Pig, if I add you to my Xbox Live friends, then we can then we can talk about it. I'm real busy, but I'm about to get a new job, in which case I might stop subbing or, or barely ever sub. But I will have more free time in the evenings, and then I can play games sometimes. Are you allowed to add students to your... I don't know. That is a complicated he thing. Kept his information stored with me. He would not have had to resort to such... So I know, like, we... Well, one of our employees recently got fired for... Well, they quit after two days of working there, because they were having a Facebook affair with one of our well, clients. I'm not having an affair with a student, okay? okay. <laughs> Especially not an intermediate school one. Well, yeah. What the heck is a Facebook <laughs> affair? It's, from what I heard, it was like a winky face. Uh, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. So we that got, all got like a face. <laughs> Moved quick for two days already <laughs> to the winky face yeah, stage. You know. I don't know. 
Well, I guess they knew each other from oh, something else. I know they were going to make out right after that. I don't know the story. That was the next step. Stardust Probably. added to city map. How do I even look at the city map? We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat. Yeah, yeah let's find out about Tomcat. You know, there was a Sega CD game, I think, called Tomcat Alley. It was a full motion video airplane game. I wonder how... Perhaps it probably had, like, stock footage of airplanes or something. Jets. My city map? So this last difficulty of Pasta is super hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the other ones are so easy. Yeah, Bob Jones is right, okay? Stop starting rumors, Royal Bob. What? Oh, uh, yeah, so hey, let me give everybody an update on the new job situation. You know, this week, or no, no, I'm sorry, what day of the week is this? This is Saturday. Yeah, this week I had a test Saturday. for the deputy district clerk position that I want. So I tested for that. There were four people there, three women and me. I was the smartest person. I finished everything the fastest, and uh, I believe I barely made any mistakes at all. So, and yeah, that test actually, a lot of it was easy, but there were some hard parts. Like you had to know the diff, like how to spell authorize, whether it's with a Z or an S at the end. And that's like a trick question because in mm -hmm. England you spell it with an S. But yeah, in England it's an S. Yeah, but there were but there were a lot oh, of words like yeah, that with like two similar spellings, and you have to pick the right one. And there was like vocabulary questions with multiple choice answers and you have to say what the word means and one of them was a little hard because it was oh, like uh, what is another word for old in your options it was like no no I'm sorry what is another word for outdated that's what it was and like the answer seemed to be old but it's like old and outdated don't actually mean the for same example, thing they're kind I'll of you know anyway uh, but it was the most correct answer so it had to have been that <laughs> Yeah, that kind of means that I call an old person. Okay. Congratulations, Chicago. Yeah, exactly. They are not exactly the same word, so I, d I don't think that was a good question, but still, it was the best answer. And I had to write a sample letter to like a guy who was applying for a divorce, and that was the hardest part of the test because I had no example to look at. Like, so for formatting stuff, I didn't know oh, yeah. is this left aligned or is this right aligned. I don't remember that kind of junk. When I have to write a letter, I usually up an example online and then I go along to what the example is. Like, were you on a computer doing yeah, this? Yeah, that part was on a computer. The rest was a physical paper test. I don't know if they'd want you, because I'm sure you guys have, well, you're going to have, like, official letterhead, so you always got to, like, space it properly. There's the message. Okay. Um... Yeah. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it was, yeah, you're right, spacing and stuff like that surely matters too, but I mean, they they can't expect us all to know perfectly how to write a business letter, I hope. Like, you tell me how to write it, and I'll write it the way you tell me, you know? Yeah, I mean, what we do, we just have, um, like, the supervisor will just send us an example and just, like, change the names around. Yeah, perfect. Because it's the same for everyone, it's not like, it's gonna be individual i think they more just want to like see that like test your smart like the, your if you have common yeah, sense. and also whether you can type okay at all because i'm sure some of those people may have made little mistakes i don't think i made any hopefully oh yeah if a lot of people are make tons of mistakes it's ridiculous so anyway i think i did really well on the test and then they told me they would call back either this week or next week to set up interviews with people who did well enough on it and yes, yesterday, while I was at the jury study, they called me back. And now I have an interview Tuesday morning. So I'm very excited about that, because this is the job out of the ones I applied for that I want the most. And it seems like I actually am on track to get it, hopefully. Knock on wood. Yeah, just be very uh -oh. professional. I'm sure you know how to do interviews. Just be professional. Your name. Let's see if this... Look, it does it. The... Why does it do two letters every time you... <laughs> That's frustrating. Is there a different button that... You're using the third-party controller. I'm using controller. the pro controller, or whatever you call it. The briefest tap, and it does two characters every time. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I really hope I get it. Um, delete. Let's see if I just leave it blank. Yes. The name you have tried to enter appears to be blank. <laughs> Oh, he's again. fussing at me. I want my name to be East X, you jerk. 
Um, yeah, I should actually, I should tell mid boss about this and ask what's up, because it's not supposed to be doing that. I could try, let me see if my keyboard does anything. Plug the keyboard in and try... Just do like East X, but like double lettered. <laughs> East X. East X. Yeah. Is the keyboard on? That's weird, because like sometimes the, oh, because the D-pad doesn't, no, the D-pad does do something in this game. All right, so what if I hit enter, does that do A? There's some kind of key on the keyboard that acts like the A button, but I don't. So, and I would uh, prepare for a question that's going to be like, what are you going to do if uh, someone like comes in here and they're disgruntled? How do you, you handle make sure they leave gruntled? <laughs> Yeah, they asked very similar yeah. questions at the McDonald's interview I had. Which, by the way, the McD the girl was like, basically, you know, she really wanted to hire me, but she had to get her area man manager's approval. But the area manager has not called me back, so apparently she couldn't talk her into it. That's what happened to me with with Walmart. They were like, "Wait, we are you're hired, but you're not actually hired yet." And then, like the day before they actually hired me, the other place called me. Just yeah, I mean, it's funny, like, when you're looking for jobs, you can go a long time with nobody responding back, but then you'll get two or three responding back at the same time, and you have to, like, I don't want to have to make a choice between two yeah. jobs, but, you know, obviously the one that I want the most is the one I'm going to take. Oh, yeah, you're the one that, like, uses your oh, degree. Oh, look, you can pick pronoun, writing. like, what kind of pronoun you want to be referred to. And there's a bunch of silly responses, and you can even pick custom pronouns. That's a really clever feature. We're just gonna go with he, though. Hello. Yeah, uh, Icky, don't even say Steam. See, GOG and Steam are not the same thing. Just say PC game. Oh well. I got to pick my own pronoun. My preferred diet. Oh, interesting. For restaurant recommendations? You can pick to be a vegetal vegetarian. What's halal? Does anybody know what that means? More options. Uh, uh, ha! Like you pick fetish. gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol free. <laughs> or I can answer this. This is what I'm gonna answer. Yeah, pick halal. one. Of these. Halal is either <laughs> Jewish what or I picked. Or Arab something. <laughs> but I don't know which one. That's correct. Whoops, that's wrong. I do remember the developer on this was raging on, like, Trump voters or uh, something. Good. Yeah, you know, the new Roseanne is out, which is really cool. The show Roseanne was, like, the best sitcom of its time. It was... Everybody watched it. Oh, I no, really it think was so. not. You didn't watch it back then? I mean, you were probably, like, five. I mean, I was younger, but it's on, like, one of the antenna TV channels I get now, and it's just depressing and not funny the depressing and part, annoying. The depressing part is one of its strengths, is that it actually captured like, Right, I get thing. that. And that part is not uh, for me, right? I well, do get that. Oh, like, okay. It's Got real. Notification. Like, that would be fine if, like, host, everybody's guy. lives wasn't like, if lives are already depressing. Well, yeah, I don't want too much depressing, but it was just nice to see somebody on TV who isn't rich, their house isn't always clean, you know, because, like, the... I mean, like, you watch Friends, and they have these gigantic apartments in New York, and they, like, their problems are not problems that you have in your own life, probably. So, you know, it was nice to see somebody who reflected more, like, what my life as a poor person was like, you know? Yeah, the ending of the show, the last season was bad. The first couple of seasons were really good, though. Does that sound right? I find TV is a way for poor people to escape their lives, not well, <laughs> there is, or have not, their lives. Not get, it's not all escape. You life. know, like yeah. art is not all about escapism. Escapism is a big part of it, and I understand that. Like, I don't, I don't really like depressing. Like Lisa, she watches like Grey's Anatomy. She watches this show. Like, I forget what it is on Hulu, but it's always super sad. It's overly sad. You know, and she likes that kind of thing. And I'm like, why would I want to watch all this sad stuff? I'm already sad. You know, I don't need that. Uh, but on the other hand, like, again, Roseanne, it was not all depressing, you know, they were a family, they criticized each other, they would be mean to each other, but they stuck together, and there were jokes. Well, it was such a mean show, yeah. so mean, it was kind of mean. You know, Norm Macdonald was one of the writers on that show for part of the time, which is kind of neat, so, like, I would not say it's not funny, like, it has funny parts, but... Uh, alright, I'm ready to go. Yeah, let's just go. Did you guys know that Bozo the Clown died this week? I heard that. Yeah, I saw that. Oh my god. I didn't know there was just one Bozo the Clown. Yay, way to go, Lightspeed Halo on Scott365. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> uh, 
It's from Chicago. Well, area. I, I wish I could play right now, but I'm actually about to go to my other I'm job at work. Like, I really do work all the time. Like, I'm not off until Friday, and that's after a... God, I mean, how many hours have I already worked this week? Well, you know, video games are an art form, right? So why don't you just let them play Fortnite in <laughs> our class? Save frequently. Yeah, maybe I should. So I'm going to save, and then we're going to wrap it up, because it is time for me to go. Uh, everybody, congratulations on winning. Thank you for the follow, Wild Pig. Oh, this that was just the prologue. Here's the actual first chapter of the game. Uh, oh. Uh, what job am I working at tonight? It's the hotel. You know, I work graveyard shifts at a hotel. Good thing about the job is that I can play video games there, and I do play Fortnite there, and last night I played Tesla versus Lovecraft. You know and uh, I might even keep playing this. Achievement! Well. Yes, three achievements I got tonight. <laughs> he was playing PUBG on his phone. Okay, well, you at least you drew your hand. That's the important part. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and push start and save. So guys, if you have Twitter, please also follow me on Twitter at Paul R. Acevedo. Choose slot. Yeah, you can... Oh, okay, there we go. Save. Well, let me name this one. Let's see if... Now... Oh, man, it's going back to doing that dumb thing. TT... Uh, YY... LL... Did you go to Loyola, Bob? What's that? Say what? Go to Loyola. No, I did not. I went to the University of Illinois. Congratulations. I did go to see Bozo show once. I have a recording. <laughs> yeah, please remember, follow me on Twitter at Paul R. Acevedo. Uh, follow us on Twitch, EastX Twitch. We stream every Saturday. We're also going to do some midweek streams from now on, hopefully. And uh, next weekend, we are probably streaming Raining Blobs, but if we get really lucky, we might stream retail PlayStation 4 and PC game Atelier Lydian Suel. So, fingers crossed on that, right? Ooh. Oh, yeah, they're crossed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tyler's crossing every part of his body. That's right. All right. Great hanging out with you all tonight. Thank you, Tyler and Royal Bob, for keeping me company. Yep. yep. Thank you for having Thank you, us. Lyle, always for running the contest. Best of the best. Good luck with your baby, Brian. Did he say when it was going to be born? Somebody remind me later. Five weeks. It was just a, a what do they call that? A false false start. False always alarm. great to see you all. Yeah. Love you all. And remember, whatever you do, don't hate. Appreciate. See ya. Bye. Now that'll hold the little SOBs.